Coach, whenever you're ready, if you want to start with the opening statement, then we'll open for questions. Um, wanted to keep uh, Alcorn at 40 points today. We're, we weren't able to do that. You know, I was disappointed with how we started the game. Uh, still shows a little bit of our immaturity as a team. Uh, but that's why we schedule these games so we can work through those things and grow. Questions? Nick Sass. Obviously a scary sight with Sarah there. Just what kind of – did you hear about what happened? And do you have any – No. Uh-uh. No, I just – for me, like, <clears throat> what I, my message to the girls at the end was, you know, this – this is this basketball is a gift, you know, and at any point in time it could be taken away from you. You know, we've seen countless people get hurt throughout different sports. It's one, it's a part of the game, but two, you have to really cherish it when you have it. And that's what I talk to them about, um, taking full advantage of your opportunities because at the end of the day, it's really just a game. Um, so I'll go see Sarah once we're done and uh, – you know, she's in good hands. Was it the same knee of last year or the other? No, it, it was the other. Um, and, and we don't know what happened. It, it, you know, it could be good, it could be bad. You know, I just knew it was probably traumatic for her. David? Coach, in a game like this, what, what can your team learn from a game like this? Uh, we have to that, – that, I mean, this is – these games allow coaches to instill discipline because we, we have a game plan and we say, hey, we're going to defend this way. Um, it allows a team like my young team to get minutes. Um, as you can see, I didn't play the starters in the fourth again because I just believe that the rest of our players will need to be able to get that experience. Um, and, and it gives that. And then it allows you to, to – um, you know, take care of someone like Jordan, who's been working her butt off and didn't get to play in the Kansas game, but was rewarded with an opportunity tonight. Any Anytime we can step out on the floor, David, uh, is good for us because we need to play. You know, we're super young and we need as much experience as we can get. Thanks. Understood. Adam? Uh, I thought Matt, I, I whispered in there, I thought she really played a good game. I thought she was aggressive from the beginning. Uh, Maddie has personal goals that she wants to attain. Uh, she's been extremely coachable lately, which is going to be important for us as we continue to grow. And I thought uh, just her response to the challenge and stepping up, I think, I thought she did great and I think she's going to be key for us to have success as we continue to go through the season. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Coach, obviously your team has had three very well-balanced games on just both sides of the ball the first three games. Do you feel like your team is as balanced as they've looked these last three games? Well, I think these these games, that's a great question, give us the opportunity to get a consistent balance, one that we can trust in big games. You know, um, I, I threw them out there versus Kansas and let them play. And so I'm really trying to get our players to embrace these moments and, and focus on what we need to focus on. Because at the end of the day, we play at the end of the December, at the end of this month, we play – the number five team in the country. That's how we open up SEC play. So these games are extremely important for us, and I hope that it allows us to get the balance that we need um, for, for games. You know, like Kira, you know, she, she has to show a level of maturity, too. I thought she got kind of bored out there, and, you know, and, and we can't have that. But, but she has a, an extraordinary talent, right? But not every – who – Netta and no one else on the team has that, you know, so they have to, like, play. And so opportunities like this is, is going to be huge for us because I want to be deep in the bench. And, Coach, when you're up 
97-41 late in the fourth quarter and you're talking to your team, what are you telling them at that point? That they score one point more than they should have. You know, we want to be known as a defensive team. Um, they didn't really coach offense as much because we really didn't have to run much. Obviously, there was a size advantage. But um, just talking about our defensive principles and, you know, Alcorn and anybody who comes in front of us, they are in the way of where we're trying to go. So we have to compete, you know, at the end of the day. Honestly, I didn't even look at the, at the score. I just knew that we were getting stops, and I liked the energy we came out at, at halftime because versus Kansas, we didn't really have good energy in, going in the third quarter, and I thought we started off the third quarter really well this game. Thank you. Thanks. Nick? I feel like we talk a lot about the new players, but sometimes somebody like Mimi gets overlooked. Just how valuable has she been kind of steadying you guys with her experience and ball control these first couple of games? I mean, I trust Mimi wholeheartedly. I've, you know, we, we have a lot of new pieces, and she's still my starting PG. She understands what, what we need. Uh, she, she's in year three. She's been solid. Uh, last game, I gave her the player of the game for us. I thought she played a tremendous game uh, on both ends of the floor. And she's been through it. And so I trust her. And um, so she is extremely important to our success. Any further questions for Coach? All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.